Hello everyone, this is Kerry Anderson. Hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I'll be talking about this is the real secret of manifesting. So if you like the video related to manifestation power, I would like to request you all please to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon or give thumbs up so that I will come up with more and more videos with lots and lots of information. So here we begin. Let's go. What does it mean to manifest something? And what is the real secret to manifesting? How do you do it? When so-called spiritual ideas become popularized, there can be a lot of distortion of the original intent. Or at least, it seems like some important details are often lost in translation. And so it is with manifesting things. There are some widespread misconceptions about manifesting what it means and how you do it. Many people mistakenly think that manifesting means wishing on a star and then sitting back waiting for your hope and dreams to miraculously come true. You simply have to want it bad enough or believe in it hard enough. It is almost as if issuing a memo to the universe with the size and specification of your deepest desire guarantees they will be magically delivered. Well, not exactly. Thinking that you can manifest anything you want, if only you meditate on it hard enough and long enough, is ego pure and simple, and that actually work against you. This is part of a massive misunderstanding that we have about manifesting. I want to share with you what the real secret to manifesting is, or at least how it works in my experience. Now I'll be talking about the first part, which is the define and declare your desire. First, most people agree that it is important to get super duper clear on exactly what it is that you want to invite into your life. You need to be as specific as possible in describing your desired manifestation. And you need to be able to imagine your wish coming true in as clear and as vivid terms as you can. That means accessing your future manifestation vision from a variety of different perspectives and through a variety of different mechanisms, whether it is through visualization, simulation, or imagination. What are the sound, smell, textures, images, or sensation associated with your desire? Your aim here is to anchor your desired future state in your psyche using as many different modes as possible. Another critical part of how to manifest something is by gaining clarity on your desire, which is too often missed is about getting in touch with why it is that you want what you want. How will achieving or receiving the object of your desire help you grow, help you create or help you solve? In other words, what's the higher purpose of your desire? You can skip this part, of course, but the desire simply won't be as powerful a force if your answer to why you want it is. I don't know, or oh, just because. Get clear on what purpose your desires serve. Then once you have that all figured out to make it real, you have to go and tell someone about your desire even better. Tell everyone. Shout out from the rooftop. Now I'll be talking about the second part. Let it go. Really? Let it go. Now, here's a real secret to manifesting that they don't tell you in the books. Manifesting is not a doing. It's an allowing. How to manifest your desires by not doing anything may be confusing. But once you have crystal clarity on what your desire look like, feel like, walk like, etc. Then congratulations, you're ready to let it go. Let go of any attachment to seeing your hopes and dreams come true. I mean, really let it go. This is the hardest part before because pretending to let it go doesn't work. That's like telling a friend that you are not looking for a relationship as you sit and idly scroll through online dating profile. I have a lot of experience with pretending to let it go. So I know how it goes. There is a saying that goes, let go and let go whether you believe in a God or not. The main idea here is that you surrender your own will to an intelligence that is greater than you. You give up personal control over your destiny, your circumstances, you relax into a sense of trust that the outcome that is best for you will present itself. The irony is that being too attached to your desire or worse yet feeling entitled to having them fulfilled can actually block forward momentum 
attachment to your idol can make you blind to unexpected opportunities and a sense of entitlement can make you feel complacent and disengaged here's a quick test that i find useful for checking whether you have actually let go of the object you desire or are just pretending to let it go can you tap into a genuine sense of gratitude for what you already have take a line effortless effect action contrary to popular belief manifesting is not a spectator sport it is not passive it is not shy manifestation require your active engagement and participation in the world around you here and now this is how the law of attraction actually work believing in yourself and believing in the truth of your desire will manifest absolutely nothing if you are merely believing it with all your might while you sit quietly in your room starting at a blank wall the whole point of using visualization technique to retrain your brain so you can start to believe that what you desire has already been done is to inspire aligned action without action there can be no manifestation the part that can be tough to reconcile is that the sort of action that i am talking about here is gentle easy and effortless the action is not hard pushy or labor it is about showing up to where you are invited embracing synchronicity making unexpected connection accepting help that is offered and opening yourself up to new perspective or new experiences in fact some people describe this part of manifestation as simply moving out into the world accompanied by your clear intention open heart and open arm and looking for evidence that what you wish for is already done this brings me back to the word of the day manifesting if you look up the definition you will see that to manifest literally means to make apparent make visible or make obvious and just in case it's not obvious let me stress this point it does not mean to make something happen when you manifest your desired reality you are not doing something as much as you are discovering it you are not receiving a gift as much as you are re- revealing it this is why many people can experience manifestation as being effortless and in that way manifesting does seem magical that is the real secret to manifesting so that's all about the manifestation in this video i hope you all liked it for all of you i prepared a small presentation that will be going to share in the description box below you can uh, check it out from there so before signing off i would like to request you all please to like share subscribe this video with your loved ones so that they will get to know better so this is carrie anderson signing off we will definitely meet in the next video with my upcoming content so till then god bless you bye bye and take care